you hear me? Let me just start off by saying this. That this, is, this is not a Ray Cologne victory. This is a 35th war. And I want to thank every one of you that really have stood by me. And you know, this is a community grassroots operation. You guys have elected your own alderman for your own ward. Somebody who's going to represent you, somebody who's going to represent the interests of the community, and more importantly, somebody who's going to find out what the needs and interests of the community are. So I want to thank you guys so much for all your hard work. And let me just tell you this, because um, this is the second go around, and you've been saying four more years. And I got to say that in my first four years, I've learned some very valuable lessons. Um, you know, people come to the aldermen to be all things for all people. And I got to tell you that um, I can't be that. Being alderman is a partnership. And I've said it many times that it's the closest point of contact that the regular folks have with their government. And I want to continue working with nonprofits, for profits, yes. and with government and these pillars that hold up our society, there has to be a partnership. We can't pick one against the other. Yes. Right. And in the same way, whether you've been a longtime resident of our ward or whether you're somebody who's new to the ward, we've got to embrace each other as neighbors. That's right. yeah. We can't based on economic status or on race or color or religion or any of those things and I know that we have a very diverse community yeah. and with that diversity is some strength but also with that diversity is some challenges and I've been honored with the responsibility of trying to facilitate and trying to move this community forward I know that many of you that are working on my campaign are activists yeah. who have very strong feelings yeah. about a lot of different things. Yeah. And in many, in many times I've been accused of being bipolar because I'm supporting this issue and I'm supporting that issue, but your issues are my issues and, and I'm here to represent all of those. And so I ask that you, rather than asking me to be all things for all people, that you would hold my hand and that you would continue to walk with me on this on this path because the next four years I think are going to be just as much or more challenging than the previous years that I had and you know this campaign just because I was the incumbent didn't make it any easier for me okay you know that you know that, <laughs> you know that. for us to do an upset four years ago was a tremendous amount of work but for us to get pushed into a runoff where now I have more enemies this time than I did last time and where now we have people that are willing to go lower and lower and, and play dirtier than ever before I gotta say, I gotta say and you were better than that it made us work I've got to tell you though and I, and I plead this with all my heart I, I had a lot of moments where I was really having a hard time moving forward. And the only thing that kept me going was knocking on doors and talking to many of you. Because at times when I was down, it was, it was people at the door who I didn't even know who said, you know what, I don't care if it's true or not. All I care about is where you're taking us. I don't care where you come from. I'm just so proud of where you come from. It's really restored my faith in humanity. It's really restored my faith in second chances, 
it's really restored my faith in looking at the fullness of the people in our community. Not looking at the mistakes they've made in the past, but actually looking at what the potential is for each and every one of us in our neighborhood. And you know what? I want to take that walk with you. So I'm just so proud that you've given me another opportunity uh, not to be your king, but to be your servant and to work with you. on focusing not on my history, not on my past, not into anybody else's personal business, but on the issues of the war that really matter. Yeah. Yep. Our neighborhood is safer, but it's still not safe enough. We've got a lot of affordable housing, but we don't have enough. Okay? We've got a lot of opportunities for new jobs, but you know what? In our community, we don't have enough. We're, we've been making progress with bringing in restaurants and bringing in businesses and creating a plant manufacturing district, but as far as bringing in enough economic development, we still don't have enough. And you know, people have been making issues of things like the Mega Mall and the Morris B. Sachs building. And you know what, as much as I am concerned about the preservation of the community, the buildings mean so much less to me than you, the people who abided them. And so, I want us to... Remember to focus on those things that are important. We want, we want to create a community where our children feel safe. We want to create a community where we don't feel afraid to walk down the street. We want to create a community that's healthy. And we want to create a community that is for us, not for somebody else, but for those of us that want to stay there and want to live there. You have my commitment that the 35th Ward will be that community. Thank you very much for all the time.